Simplify 1 half times the absolute value of 5 minus negative 1 squared minus the absolute value of negative 3 times 2 squared. So this is also a, an order of operations problems with a little bit of absolute value thrown in there for good measure. And just to remind ourselves, order of operations, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. And then we want to do we want to do exponents, exponents. Then multiplication and division, multiplication and division. And this doesn't mean that multiplication goes before division. If you have a bunch of multiplication and division going on, you want to go left to right. It just tells us that multiplication or division will go before addition and subtraction, addition and subtraction. Once again, this doesn't mean that addition goes before subtraction. It means that they're at the same level, that multiplication or division goes before these guys. If you have some combination of addition and subtraction, you want to just go left to right. So with that out of the way, let's evaluate this expression. So let's see, inside of our parentheses, so we don't have, I mean, we have a 2 inside of a parentheses. That's just going to evaluate to 2. A negative 3 is going to evaluate to a negative 3. A negative 1 is just going to evaluate to negative 1. So the parentheses really can't be simplified a lot more. Let's move over to exponents. We have 2 squared. So we're going to, do the, we're going to square the 2 before we multiply it times negative 3. So 2 squared, that's going to be a 4. And then, before taking this exponent over here, we'd, it'd be easier to simplify this over here. So let's do that first. So we could just do that. Let's see, inside of here, you can almost view the, the absolute value sign as the parentheses. You're taking the parentheses, and then you're going you're, you're gonna to have to evaluate this expression, and then you're going to take the, its absolute value. So this thing right here, 5 minus negative 1, we know that when you subtract a negative number, that's the same thing as adding the positive version of it. So this is the same thing as 5 plus 1. This is the same thing as 5 plus 1, which will evaluate to 6. So let's just rewrite what we have, just so we don't get too confused. So this is now 1 half times the absolute value of 6 squared minus the absolute value of negative 3 times 4. Negative 3 times 4. Now, the absolute value of 6 is clearly 6. 6 squared is going to be 36. So this part right here will become 1 half times 36. And then over here we have a minus. We have in, in, in the absolute value sign, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Now, one, we want to do, do multiplication before we do any subtraction over here. So we can safely do this multiplication first. I could put parentheses around it to show you that we'll do it first. So 1 half times 36. That is going to be 18. And so we have 18 minus the absolute value of 12. Well, what's, oh, sorry, 18 minus the absolute value of negative 12. What's the absolute value of negative 12? It's 12. So it's going to be 18 minus 12, which is equal to 6. And we are done.